Hello everyone. Welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to make a rig for this elephant and we will also animate this elephant. So here you can see I have this 3D model of the elephant and it is also having a kind of textures. So here you can see and let's check the edit mode so here in the edit mode you can see it is having a very good kind of topology uh, that uh, quadratic topology so if everything is fine let's uh, just start the video and we can add a rig so just let me apply this mirror modifier first So now we can just uh, add a new rig. So since Blender doesn't provide a default elephant rig, so we will use the horse rig and we will transform this horse rig into the rig which will be suitable for the elephant. So here you can see I have added the horse rig and now we will just change some of the bones and so just do some of the changes so first of all what we can do is we can just uh, delete uh, some of this uh, unrequired bones which are not required in the elephant so now just let's place each of these bones correctly so you don't need to worry about uh, the proper placement of the bones just uh, roughly align each of these bones so here you can see I am just aligning all these bones Make sure that you don't separate any of the bones, otherwise they will create some error. So the bones which are together need to be, must be together. Okay. Once you finish aligning of the uh, given bones, we can proceed on adding some new bones. Since the elephant have uh, very different kinds of ear, so it must be having a very larger amount of bones. So here I am just adding a chain of bones. These are a part of a central bones and will govern the position of the ear. Just properly align each of these bones. Make sure that the bones doesn't keep on popping out of the body. Now we can proceed on the trunk bone. So just keep on excluding each of these bones. So once you finish all these things,
so here you can see that uh, the bone on the i mean on the foot has been deleted by mistaken so we need to add that particular bone so if something like this happens even in your rig what we can do is we can just delete the add a new bone and by turning off the mirror option and this will just work properly so here you can see almost everything has been done and few final touch ups are remaining so just and do some of this aligning and of the bone and now we can just pair in the elephant with the rig so into the object mode select the elephant and then the rig and with the automatic weight you can pair in it so now into the pose mode we can just check the movement of each of this bones and see how they uh, interact with the object so here you can see the foot is working properly and now let's check the ear so the ear is also very working very properly but the thing is that the elephant ears are very flexible and they rotate uh, uh, differently on top and the bottom so how can we just uh, change the rig and we can just uh, do that particular kind of position so just unparent the rig and we can just change some of this bone settings so here you can see i am just duplicating this particular bone and we can then exclude this particular bone do this same kind of thing at the bottom of the ear so here you can see on the screen that particular three of the branches of the bones are parented with the middle branch of the bone so now let's check again so that the central bone will govern the whole ear and this top and bottom bones will govern the top and bottom position respectively so now the things are working very properly so i think that foot bone was a bit lower so i am just changing it so once you change the position of the bone they won't be affected directly into the pose mode you need to clear the parent and you need to again reparent it so that their effect will be changed so as soon as i reparent it it is working properly so now i am just adding a cube as a floor and i will be scaling it so that we can just uh, make sure that the elephant is working uh, i mean walking properly on the ground so now it's a time to animate this particular animal and for that we would require a reference image and i didn't get a good quality reference image of the elephant walk cycle so i will be using this uh, horse walk cycle and we will just uh, animate the elephant using this particular reference image since all the quadrupeds animals uh, walk in a similar way 
not exact but uh, similar way so we can just follow this particular reference and it will be good to go so into the pose mode we can just uh, align each of these bones and we can then just follow this uh, image given into the reference so starting from the zeroth frame we can just add a rest position and for the rest position the trunk of the elephant need to be at the proper position so here you can see the trunk has been properly corrected and we can just uh, uh, add the keyframe and this will be the rest position of the elephant so now just keep on following the reference and adding a keyframe that is the only task to be done Now here you can see I have added all the 12 keyframes and 
here you can see the elephant is walking properly so here you can see we have just converted the horse rig into the elephant one and then used the horse uh, walking cycle and then animated the walking cycle of elephant so if the blender doesn't provide the default elephant rig we can obviously convert the given rig any kind of rig into any object and that was the main aim of this particular video so i hope you have learned something new from this video and we will meet in the next video till then have a nice day